Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Creations by Simone. All right, guys, tonight we're going to do something very different. We're going to do a chicken garlic bread salad casserole. This is something different. I'm actually seeing this on Instagram and I fell in love with it. It was delicious, so I decided to make it. All right, guys, so let's start. We're going to use some chicken here. We're going to go ahead and use some breasts. I'm going to clean and wash these off now. You can use breast white meat if you like dark meat thighs. You can go ahead and use that as well so we're going to go ahead and get this really really cleaned up rinsed off once we do that guys we are going to season as well now, i don't know about you but i like my chicken very clean so i always rinse it well all right so we're going to add some paprika some kicking chicken some crushed pepper seasoning salt and then we're just going to go ahead and put this in the crock pot guys i have three brick big breasts here and then we're going to go ahead and add some onions go ahead and cut that up as well once we just stir that all in we're going to put a half a cup of water and we are going to set this for 10 hours because i got a lot to do today so we'll go ahead and get that done all right so now that we opened it up look it looks looks delicious it smells delicious we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut that up i removed the onions i just put the onions in for flavor but i shredded all that up now we're gonna add our hidden valley ranch spicy dressing we're just gonna go ahead and put that in there stir it up now i was just gonna put a little bit at first but you really really need a lot to to get the chicken to stick something like tuna fish i guess you could say but we're gonna go ahead and put that in and this i'm telling you guys this smells just awesome and it, it tastes awesome as well I, I was dipping a little bit all right so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our garlic bread in at 350 i actually did uh six breads uh six no, i'm sorry five garlic breads that i did and it just depends on how big you want your casserole so all i did guys was just put those in the oven let them bake seven minutes and then once we got that out just let them cool off a little bit doesn't really necessarily have to be hot because this is going to get heated up all over again now since i'm making sort of a small casserole dish what i want to do is i'm just going to go ahead and cut my garlic bread up and i'm just going to cut it into uh squares so we're just going to cut this down in half now like i said if you're making a bigger dish you can just go ahead and you can keep the larger size um breads as they are all right so we're just going to go ahead and just put this into our casserole dish just make it sort of uniformity there um, that it fits perfectly make sure everything is filled up if you have any empty spaces guys just go ahead and just cut your garlic bread up and just fill it up as you like that's what i'm doing here i had a few spaces um, i really wanted to make sure that the bottom was filled with the bread because i wanted to give it that uh, a garlicky taste and then just have that bottom base as well all right guys so now that i have that all cut up, i'm gonna put a few more in here i don't want any spaces missing all right so now as you can see it looks a little funky there but once we put our chicken in guys we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna layer it on top um this reminds me so much of tuna fish guys i'm telling you it's just the same way that you make tuna fish but you use your own um dressing so now that we have it in here just going to spread it out over the garlic bread guys real simple and easy just go ahead and make sure that you cover all the bread up and just make sure you put a nice healthy portion on there this smells so good i wish i had smell of vision guys i really do because you would you'd be in love even before you taste the dish all right so now we're going to get this in here put all our chicken in here and then once we have that guys what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we are going to add our cheese. But I just want to show you how this is layered just so you can get a quick idea. All right. So once again, I'm using Kobe Jack Kraft cheese. You can use any cheese you like. It's just whatever your taste buds are. But we're going to go ahead and use this. And I'm just sprinkling it all on top of the casserole, guys. You can put as much as you want, as little as you want. It just, you know, depends on what floats your boat, what your taste buds are. I love cheese, so I'm going to put a lot on there. All right guys looking good looking good all right so we're going to go ahead and put this in the oven we got it the oven heated at 350 we're going to let this bake um just until the cheese is melty and just looks all good there and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our lettuce quick um that was cut up real quick that that's why i love uh, tv effects okay so we don't have to go through all that all right so we have our lettuce cut up now that we have that cut up 
real simple. We're just going to put it on top of the casserole. That's all. That's all we're going to do. Just layer it on top. If you like a lot, then you put a lot. If you don't want as much salad, then you can go that route as well. Now that we have our salad on top, we're going to add our salad dressing, Hidden Valley Ranch, or whatever floats your boat. I love Hidden Valley Ranch, so we're going to go ahead and add that on. And look at that, guys. We have a beautiful garlic cheesy chicken casserole salad. <laughs> it, it looks good. It tastes good. And you're going to absolutely love it. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.